रिले ब्रेक द सर्किट सर्किट ब्रेकर ब्रेक द सर्किट फ्यूज ब्रेक द सर्किट स्विचेस कैन ब्रेक द सर्किट देन वॉट्स द डिफरेंस लेट्स फाइंड आउट वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ठाकर की पाठशाला एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंस बिटवीन रिले एंड सर्किट ब्रेकर ऑल्सो एट द एंड आई विल गिव यू अ वेरी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल प्रोटेक्टिव सिस्टम इट विल हेल्प यू टू क्लियर योर कॉन्सेप्ट फर्दर लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दम इंडिविजुअली फर्स्ट लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट सर्किट ब्रेकर दे आर यूज टू मेक और ब्रेक सर्किट एट हाई वोल्टेज एंड करंट द बेसिक फंक्शन ऑफ सर्किट ब्रेकर इज टू ब्रेक द फ्लोइंग करंट एट फॉल्टी कंडीशन ऑटोमेटिकली मैन्युअली और रिमोटली ऑल्सो सर्किट ब्रेकर शुड ब्रेक द करंट एट नॉर्मल ऑपरेटिंग कंडीशन फॉर मेंटेनेंस पर्पज एंड सर्किट ब्रेकर शुड विथ स्टैंड टू फ्लोइंग नॉर्मल ऑपरेटिंग करंट एज वेल एज द रेटेड फॉल्ट करंट दिस इज द फंक्शन ऑफ सर्किट ब्रेकर वेरी सिंपल बट नॉ फॉर रिले इट इज समवॉट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड Let's take a look at function of relay. Unlike the circuit breaker, use of relay are endless. Basically, if we generalize the use of relay, then we can say that we use relays whenever we need to control high power circuit with low power circuit. In other word, relay are conditional switches. Sometimes in low power application, they also act as switching device. But in high power circuitry, they used to sense the faulty condition as well as to send an actuating signal to operate the circuit breaker in order to open the contact and turn off supply. we can create various kind of logic via relay like we can set relay to be act on earth fault we can use relay to determine the direction of current we can use thermal relay to sense the temperature counting of application will be endless but if we look particularly for a protective system then relay in protective system are used to sense the faulty condition and pass a signal to the circuit breaker we can use more than one relay and can create lots of different protective logic You will be amazed to know that early electromechanical computers such as ARA and Harvard Mark II were built out of relay to create logic. Nowadays, that complicated circuitry of relay is replaced with CPU. So, if we sum it up, then the relay are controlling device which work on low power circuit and make controlling easy for us as we don't have to deal with very high power circuitry. Also, relay are used in some low power circuit for switching purpose. Now let's take a very simple example of electrical protective system so you can clear the difference of relay and circuit breaker further this line is directly taken from bus bar and we are protecting it against the overcurrent in order to protect this system from overcurrent we need to do three things first one is to sense overcurrent second is that after sensing we need to send that signal to circuit breaker in order to open its contact and finally in accordance to that trip signal circuit breaker will open the contact and flowing current will be stopped so let's dive deeper and see how this thing actually functions first of all let's take a look at general layout of this protective system as i told earlier this is our electrical system which is being protected this this whole thing is our sensing part or we can say relay part this is basically a step down city which step down primary current secondary of city is connected to the relay coil by the way if you don't know about city then i have made separate video about it which you can check out here this is the setup for circuit breaker this is battery to energize the trip coil in order to apart the contact of circuit breaker now let's see operation in normal operating condition when there is no fault at normal operating condition what happen will that the current flowing from this conductor will be in specified limit so let's say if this is 100 is to density then whenever the current in this conductor is 100 ampere then the current on secondary side will be 10 ampere that 10 ampere will flow in the relay coil and produce respective magnetic flux as the current is too less there will be less magnetic force and the relay contact will stay in open condition no current flow from this coil and the circuit breaker will remain in closed condition now let's say we have some fault over here current flowing from city will increase let assume that we have fault of 200 ampere so we will get 20 ampere current on secondary side and that current will go into relay coil as this current is enough to produce sufficient magnetic force to pull the contact of relay so relay will close this contact as soon as relay close this contact the battery will energize the trip coil and the circuit breaker contact will be pulled apart the current flowing from circuit will be stopped so if we conclude content of this whole video in one line then it will be like this for electrical protection system relay is sensing device and circuit breaker is just device which make or break circuit so that's it for now i hope you have find this video helpful if so then hit that like button share it with those who might get benefit from it subscribe for more videos like this if you have not liked this video or you have any suggestion in regard to improvement or topic should i cover in my next video then comment it down below so that's it for now we will meet in my next video